In 2018 and 2019, actress Emma Stone purchased two stunning homes in Los Angeles, one in Malibu and one in the area of Westwood. It's said that the $2.3 million Westwood home was for a family member, while the other was for Emma and her growing family. Aside from those two properties, she also maintains at least two homes in New York City. One she bought in 2016 for $2.4 million in a pre-war building, and an even more expensive high-rise she snagged more recently in Manhattan's financial district. Award-winning actress Emma Stone has more than a long list of successful films under her belt. With a net worth of over $30 million, she's bought and sold a handful of properties in both Los Angeles and New York City, currently maintaining four. Emma is married to comedian and writer Dave McCary, and they recently welcomed their first child, daughter Louise. While Emma is one of the highest paid and most in-demand ladies in Hollywood, she still prefers to keep her personal life, well, personal. Despite that, we still know quite a bit about her real estate portfolio, including the place she's currently calling home in Malibu. Hey guys, it's Care the Vampire Slayer back with another exclusive house tour here on Famous Entertainment, and today we're looking at the homes of Emma Stone. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit me up on Instagram to chat. And let's get into this video. In 2019, it was reported that Emma added two multi-million dollar properties to her portfolio, these two located on the west coast. She had unloaded her Beverly Hills cottage style abode around the same time, so it made sense that she wanted space for her growing family. The more recent purchase was a 2,312 square foot abode in the neighborhood of Westwood, Los Angeles, close to Century City. It's said that this one was bought for one of her family members, but we don't know for sure. This home is just a short walk from the upscale LA Country Club and a quick drive to Beverly Hills. It's set behind a charming garden out front with a courtyard. While walking in the front door, there's a staircase and step down living area with cozy fireplace. Emma paid $2.3 million for this home. Some details include hardwood flooring, arched doorways, and wood beam ceilings. Attached to the living room at the front of the home, there's the formal dining room with large windows and doors to the outdoor space, and the nearby kitchen follows a matching color scheme with other common rooms, boasting fresh white tiling and cabinets with stainless steel appliances. Two bedrooms are upstairs with one downstairs, however the master suite here isn't your usual celeb style retreat. Since it's an older home, it didn't have an attached bedroom bath and massive walk-in. The backyard was super cute and it makes the most of the space with a swimming pool spanning nearly the whole lot, also offering a spa and a colorful fountain. The ivy covered garage situated next to the pool was transformed into an entertainment room, but it could be also used as a guest space or office too. A few months prior to buying that property, Emma bought a home in Malibu for $3.25 million, which is reportedly where she's currently living with her husband and daughter. The mid-century ranch style home is on a Malibu cliff overlooking Las Tunas Beach, boasting some amazing ocean views. The property is made up of two lots, making up 3.2 acres of land leading down to the Pacific Coast Highway, but the residence itself is on the small side, boasting 1,764 square feet of space with three beds and two baths throughout. Emma's cozy house is surrounded by gardens and pretty plants like eucalyptus trees, cactus plants, and much more. The sellers of the home have had the property featured in the magazine shortly before Emma bought it, and they renovated the home immensely, turning it into a picture-perfect beach house full of natural light. The home is now decked out in a nearly all-white theme from the ceilings to the walls, which we can see in the open-plan living room, which also offers beamed ceilings and full walls of glass with water views. In fact, most of the house has 180 degree ocean views from pretty much every room, so I'm not surprised why Emma would want to live here. The walls in the eating kitchen were removed during the renovations to open up the space and flow into the other common areas, and it was also fitted with high-end appliances with a skylight overhead. Emma's master suite is just as bright as the other rooms with wraparound glass sliders and high ceiling. The bathrooms in the home were modernized to feature things like a Japanese soaking tub, while the guest bathroom was open air and had a handheld shower too. The home might not feature a pool, but there are plenty of tree-shaded patios to dine and lounge on 
outside, which are close enough to the beach. Before Emma bought these homes, she formerly lived in another modestly sized residence in Beverly Hills. In 2019, Emma sold her house here and pretty quick at that taking only a month to get the asking price she wanted, $3.89 million. Located more specifically in the upscale neighborhood of Beverly Hills Post Office, the traditional looking cottage-like home spent 3,862 square feet. Emma purchased the crib back in 2012 for $2.48 million and put the home through some extensive renovations while living here, transforming it into an entertainer's dream. The stylish house had four beds and 4.5 baths within and and walking in through the red front door, you can see the double height living room with fireplace set in a white brick wall along with soaring ceilings and a colorful chandelier. The home was also protected with a secure gate out front because we know how Emma loves her privacy. The main open living space is bigger than you might expect from the home, decked out in pastel toned walls and also including a formal dining area to one side. Moving into the country style kitchen, there's plenty of space to eat in and prep your meals. Emma made sure to only include the best appliances like a 60 inch double oven wolf range, sub-zero refrigerator and bonuses like a built in coffee maker. An additional lounge area is set to the side of the expansive kitchen with a couch, chairs, and a built-in TV. The cozy dining nook here has another one of those colorful chandeliers which I'm obsessed with, as well as a fireplace and French doors to the grounds. Elsewhere in the home, there was a media room and what listing materials described as a bonus room with wet bar and full bath with oversized shower. There were pops of color and style throughout all of Emma's house, such as spaces with floral wallpaper and one bathroom with black and white checkered walls. The charming master bedroom offered backyard access and its own marble fireplace and ensuite. Finally, on the grounds of the Beverly Hills Cottage, there were gardens of flowers and an upgraded and heated swimming pool. Well, by the sounds of all of that, Emma certainly has a real estate portfolio fit for a celebrity. Her Los Angeles homes past and present may appear to be on the modest side, but they're no less stylish and are still multi-million dollar properties. After checking them out, which was your fave? Personally, I think I like the one that Emma sold in the Beverly Hills Post Office neighborhood most. She just decorated and designed it so perfectly. Well, be sure to let me know your thoughts on her homes down in the comments. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I will catch you all in the next video. Bye.